Hey, welcome back for another walk through the carpenter shop where together, hopefully, we're learning some things about God, learning how to be just a little bit deeper and a little bit better at this thing called faith because it's not easy. We're reminded of that in John 13, 34, when Jesus see, says to his disciples, a new command I give to you, that you love one another. Our car cartoon in a national magazine showed a couple standing before a minister during the wedding. The minister was looking at the bride and he said, uh, the correct response, ma'am, is I do, not it's worth a try. Uh, it is one of those things that very often, um, as a minister, I've stood in front of couples and because of nerves, they weren't able to get out the words at the right time or in the right way. And you have to kind of coach them along just a little bit. But never have I anybody look at, had anybody look back at me and say, um, instead of I do, uh, I'll give it a shot. That's not the usual response that you want at a wedding. You want a little bit more firmer commitment than that. I do. However, when it comes to love, love is um, fairly tricky because love requires a dogged commitment that you're going to stick with someone, stay with someone, and be who you said they would be in their life. And I'm not just talking about marriage at this point, I'm talking about what it means to love other people. The Bible commands us that we must love, and love is a choice. And so when we make the choice to love, that love is supposed to model the love of Christ, which is unconditional love, meaning that it doesn't matter what happens, you're still gonna love. Does it mean you're always gonna like things? No. Does it mean you're always gonna be happy? No, no, happiness doesn't necessarily have anything to do with that choice. Uh, does it mean uh, that there's not going to be some times that you don't have to be tough or you have to put a little distance between you to make sure uh, that you can love them like you need to? Sure, you're going to have to do all of those things. That's part of what love means sometimes. But at the end of the day, beyond the feeling, there's a choice. And the choice that you make is to love. Jesus said it this way, a new command I give to you. In other words, it's not optional behavior. It's not something that you can pick and choose what you want or who you want to love. Jesus said, you will love one another. Um, the answer is not, I'll do the best that I can, not I'll take a shot. The answer is, I do. I'll love. Why? Because Jesus said to. How do you do it? Because Jesus will help you do it. And because you've made the choice to trust him and live like he's called you to live, then you'll learn to love. The more you mature, the more you nurture it, the easier love becomes. But love is something that always should be the defining characteristic in your life and my life because we know Him. Those are lessons that we learn in the carpenter shop. I look forward to joining you here next time.